everyone, this is Summer Erin and I have some really exciting news for you. I found something that can tell us what is coming next in The Sims 4 and I am serious about this. Some of the things that have already been on here have already come to pass and this is actually from The Sims team themselves. Before we go ahead and get started, my name is Simmer Aaron. I do Sims 4 news, speculation, and info videos, as well as paralyzed news, speculation, info videos. So I have a playlist for both, and definitely check those out. Also, if you're new here, drop a comment and say hi. Now, you might be wondering, what is this, and is this just being clickbaity? I promise you guys, I am really excited about this. This is something I found through the Sims VIP archive back in 2017. Now, before you say, Aaron, why would I care about something from 2017? It's because two of the pack concepts on this survey have already completely come to pass almost to a T, while the other remaining ones, we've already gotten some hints, and I really think that these remaining things are going to come to The Sims 4. So I will leave a link to the survey if you are interested. But I'm going to go through the pack concepts that were surveyed back in 2017 that have already come to The Sims 4 and then we're going to get into the exciting part where we see some pack concepts that are probably coming to The Sims 4. So the first one is The Sims 4 Witches. Sims Witches convene in their coven to create potions and curses in The Sims 4 Witches. Create witches which look old or evil or youthful and innocent. Brew magical potions and cast spells with your magical broom, which can also be used to fly through the night sky. Create witches. Create a sim witch from the ugly to the most youthful. Choose from straggly hair and warts to luxurious capes and wicked new outfits. Brew potions. Bring out the kettle to brew powerful potions that help you cast powerful hexes on objects, curse other sims, or cause others to act in unnatural ways. Magic broom. No witch is complete without a magical broom. Use it to fly for the night sky, cast new spells, or fend off other sims who are less than keen about your magical ways. Now, I don't think I need to explain this. This clearly became Rebel Magic. Like, the details are so, so close. So obviously we got witches and wizards. Obviously we did get a magical broom where you can fly for the sky as much as you can in a closed world anyway. You also have the ability to make potions, you have the ability to curse other sims, you have the ability to make them act in quote unnatural ways and to also do some things with objects. Now one thing they didn't emphasize quite as much in Realm of Magic was the ugly or youthful, but even the warts did come true, right? Because if you get hexed, if you get poisoned, you do get some warts. And then I guess you can argue whether or not they are wicked new outfits. But clearly, guys, this is so close, and it said, how likely would you be to purchase the Witch's Game Pack? Again, they specifically even said a Game Pack, and guess what? We got Realm of Magic Game Pack. So that was the first clue that this survey was worth paying attention to. Now, the next clue that was interesting to me, granted, this wasn't on the initial survey. This was through Reddit, and they said that this was the part of the survey that only certain people got. But if it is true... It was The Sims 4 on Campus. School is in session, and it's time for your Sims to hit the books in The Sims 4 on Campus. Take your teen teenage Sim to boarding school to advance their skills, find out more about themselves, and impress their crush. Move on to university to learn more career skills, join cliques, and even experience the craziness of dorm living. Now, as you can tell, this one is a little bit mixed. So we're going to see a lot of things that we got with Discover University, and we're going to see some features that could still come, such as attend boarding school. Teenage Sims who are dedicated to their books can attend advanced classes where they'll learn new subjects and ways the pros and cons of being a teacher's pet. Find your place. Sims can discover who they really are and who they want to be. Pass notes to a crush in school, start a clique, and stand up to no good bullies. Join a society, secret or academic, and see what adventures that opens. College life. Enjoy a game of throwaway disc or kicky bag on the qu campus quad. Lead a campus protest, sneak into the back of the library to smooch with your significant other. Live in dorms. Live with your peers outside the watchful eyes of your parents. Meet new friends, discover romance, and host a party without getting caught. Prank your friends, 
face up with rivals, and live away from your parents. So they said, how likely would you be to purchase an on-campus expansion pack if it became available for $39.99? Clearly, this was Discover University only. Unfortunately, it got watered down. So with Discover University, we did get those secret societies, as it says here. We got the ability to play some games on campus, and we did get the smooching, I guess, in the woohoo interaction with the shower. Now, what's missing? The teen school stuff, and we've been getting a lot of teen school hints, right? So the boarding school, teenage sims could go to boarding school, and then also the other part about it is, joining clicks, right? We didn't get that either. We didn't get clicks. We didn't get boarding school. So this could be a sign that we could be getting teenage school. But it's also kind of ticks me off just a little bit because this is another sign that this could have been a pack. This could have been with Discover University. But I digress because we have a couple more actually to get through. And the next one is Sims for Fairies. So this is something we actually haven't admittedly gotten much a hint of, but I've said in the past that I really do think they're gonna do another cult pack because it's been a while. Step lightly for Magic Desk and try not to sneeze, as it's time to embrace magic in The Sims 4 Fairies. Create your fairies that are tiny and oh so magical. Escape to a hidden fairy world where you can learn more and cause tricks for mischief back in the real world. So it sounds like there's two worlds, which I do worry this potentially couldn't come because it sounds like maybe that's the concept, you know, they did for Realm of Magic, but let's go ahead anyway. Create fairies. Create your own new tiny sim fairy using a variety of new magical objects, colorful wings, and sparkly decoration objects. Hidden fairy world. Fairies can flutter about for a new magical fairy world, which can only be seen if you're a fairy or have been granted special permission by fairy kind. See what I mean? I'm getting Realm of Magic vibes. Cause mischief. Gather up enough magic pixie dust and train your fairy to learn new tricks. Cause mischief, enchant objects, and embrace the magical mayhem. Now, I personally think this could be neat, but I do worry about overlap with Realm of Magic. So I could see this, maybe they could do a whole woodlawn fairy kind of pack. Maybe they could add another cult. I really doubt they would, but that's another possibility. Now, the next one is something we've gotten so many hints of and we're all saying it's coming. And here is the pack concept officially right here, guys. The Sims 4 Winter Vacation. Winter's cold has arrived and it's time to take your Sims for a wintry vacation in the Sims 4 Winter Vacation. Choose your favorite winter accommodations, then venture outside to build a snowman or have a snowball fight. Go snowboarding and compete for medals or take a leisurely stroll through the mountains to see what you can uncover. Choose your lodging. Settle into your winter escape by choosing to rent a snowy winter cabin, a family-friendly vacation home, or live it in a hotel complete with room service. Play in the snow, take your sims to enjoy the snow, build a snowman, and make snow angels, or challenge your friends to a snowball fight. Go snowboarding, take the half pipe, kind of like they had in Sims 3, and show off your snowboarding skills. Sign up for the snowboarding competition to go for the gold and earn prizes. Explore the mountains, strap on your snowshoes for a relaxing stroll through the snow-covered mountains, follow animal tracks, discover caves, and maybe come across a rumored snow yeti. Oh my gosh, this pack sounds amazing. I do have some concerns about it. First of all, it does say it's an expansion pack. The concerns I would have, and people have asked me this in the past, how would a winter pack work? I'd said you could have snow as the set dressing, you could just have it as the landscaping. My concern here is you probably have to get rid of the play with snow interactions because that would require seasons. But some interesting things I noticed here is snowboarding skills. They say go for the gold. So it sounds like there's some kind of like competitive sports element. I'm not gonna say Olympic, but that is really interesting. Also the fact that they have a resort system that you could have a family vacation. I say you could do a family vacation. You could also do honeymoons, just my opinion. But I love that last part, explore the mountains. Strap on your snowshoes for a relaxing stroll through the mountains. Discover caves and animal tracks. Honestly, guys, I don't get that excited about Sims 4, but I feel like I would buy that pack in a heartbeat. You can let me know what you think about that. I think that is something that could potentially come, but it could be like the Discover University versus boarding school thing 
where the concepts are there and they're gonna split it in half. So they'll have like a winter theme pack and then they'll have in, like an exploration pack. I could kind of see that unfortunately. And then last but not least, we have this pack and it's called Dream Jobs. And this one I have the most mixed emotions on whether it's coming or not. I would argue we already have one of them, but two of them could potentially come. Dream Jobs. Sims can now take on active careers, which, you know, we did get active careers and get to work, that only few ever experience in the Sims 4 Dream Jobs. Gain fame and fortune by floating into space as an astronaut, going on dangerous heists, as a thief, remember we had a survey and they asked about heists and thieves again, or strapping on a guitar and taking to the stage. Become an astronaut, blast off into space, and dock into a thrilling space station. I personally think this is the one that's probably not going to come because we already have the astronaut career and we can already go to space and get to work. I think that's done. I think that's out of the loop. But listen to the next two. Live the life of a thief. Guys, we've been begging for robbers, but this is actually living as a thief. Sims looking for a thrilling and dangerous life can become a world-renowned thief, pull off dangerous heists, steal jewels, and even run an association of international thieves. They actually had a heist concept in a most recent survey, so I think they are considering this idea heavily again. And then a lot of people have said about a band pack, be a rock star. Form a band and go on tour to gain fame, fortune, and new experiences. Play a variety of instruments from electric guitar to drums and master your stage skills. Woo! Okay guys, I know that this video probably was visually not very interesting because I was probably just showing the screenshots of the descriptions. But guys, I know, and I'm going to say it again. The base game updates are most important, and I do address that in a lot of my videos, but here I just want to emphasize that even though I think The Sims 4 is very flawed, I think it has a lot of problems, even though I think that the personalities are a big issue, I think that skin tones are an issue, etc., I do get excited about seeing them try ideas. So I know some of you guys really are not feeling The Sims 4 right now. Just please know that I get really excited when I see new concepts. I get excited about news. Not even the game itself, just news. So that's why I'm sounding so excited. And honestly, I'm excited because I stumbled upon this and I really strongly think that most of this could be coming. I'm serious. The fact that we got the magic pack to a T, we got the university pack, but it looks like they might divide it in half, which like I said, we can do another video talking about this issue because it's a big issue. The fact that they brought up rock star kind of ideas, bands, we actually just got another, we got a metal station in Nifty Knitting. The fact that we have the hints about teens, we have the hints about heists for a thief, those all kind of really make me think this is coming. Also the winter vacation, I don't know how many hints we've gotten about a winter vacation pack, but I really do think that's coming. Now, is it going to come with all the things I mentioned here, such as hotels and being able to discover caves? Hell no, I don't think so. But it would be really cool, wouldn't it? So let me know what do you think about this in the comments below. I hope this was really exciting for you. Even if you're like totally done with The Sims 4, just humor me. Tell me which pack you would be most likely to buy if it came. Would you buy a Fairies pack? Would you buy the Winter Vacation? Would you buy a boarding school pack? A Thief pack? Are you kind of like me and you're also like, why weren't these already here? Why weren't they together? That is totally valid too. And on that note, I will let you go. Let me know again what you think and I'll see you next one. Bye guys.